As more and more UU congregations open their doors and hearts to multicultural ministry, one of the challenges is how to honor that diversity in worship. How does worship become multicultural? How does this worship help build the beloved community? These are questions that the ministers and members at All Souls in Washington, D.C. have been pondering for years. I think that worship on Sunday morning is really a rehearsal of that beloved community. It needs to be the place where we where we tell the story of what beloved community is. It needs to be the place where we, where we can actually witness a glimpse of what the beloved community is. It's, it's something that we do intentionally. We, do, we, 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 we try to practice putting uh, multicultural elements in our worship services and in our, uh, in our activities. We live in a neighborhood that is uh, largely Latino and Spanish speaking. Uh, this neighborhood is a clash and a clamor and a, a, a symphony and a cacophony of mixtures of cultures. One of the things that we've learned is that people oftentimes will make a judgment within their first 15 minutes of being in a church on Sunday morning whether or not they belong. And a big part of finding out whether or not you belong is if you look around and you see people who feel like you, who look like you. And so that means that every Sunday morning, the leadership and worship really needs to reflect the diversity um, of our church community. So we're really intentional about that. And one of the ways we really bring that in is through our worship associate program. I'm a worship associate coordinator at All Saints Church. My biggest struggle is uh, fulfilling uh, the mandate that we have from the clerical staff to make sure that the pulpit reflects a multiracial, multicultural aspect at all times. Our planning for this kind of worship is is very intentional. You know, every every Sunday we ask ourselves, you know, how um, how are we in our worship reflecting the experience and the cultural expression of many different cultures. Sometimes it's with drama and the church's community theater group, the Kumba Players. And I take those readings and do voicings of those readings. The Pentecostal service was done in multiple languages. We read that particular verse. Uh, the framework was done in English and then within that we had like six different languages. French, Spanish, uh, Creole last year, Croatian. And often, the honoring of multiculturalism comes through music. Our emphasis is not so much on African American music, but music that heals, that promotes social justice, and you know that is uh, encouraging. Uh, and we use so we use music from different cultures to try to affect that. Since multiculturalism is fast becoming America's future, it's also part of being a religion for our time. True, there aren't many UU congregations that look like All Souls DC now, but any congregation can intentionally honor multiculturalism in word and song and spirit, just as All Souls does. It's the spirit of life in Spanish, for instance, or when you, when we sometimes, I'll, I'll say the Jubilee singers sang a song with Vietnamese in it. We really see our congregation is seeking to, to model, to rehearse uh, what Dr. King called the beloved community, uh, a diverse, spirit-growing, justice-seeking community that is true to the dream of all souls.